Louisiana Beer Reviews, Hurricane Punch from Mike's Harder. Warning, 8% alcohol. So it's got the warning on there. This is a flavored malt beverage. Premium malt beverage with natural flavors and certified colors, if you want to be technical. So the flavoring is natural. The coloring is food coloring. Okay, manufactured by Mike's Hard Lemonade Company. Waddell, Arizona. All registered trademarks used under license by Mike's Hard Lemonade Company. If you look at the cans or bottles of Cayman Jack, they say manufactured by American Vintage Beverage Company of Wardell, Arizona. Okay. Can't make out C or C C so A B C March 17th of 2024 at 10:25 in the morning. Okay, so I know I know that this is correct because they on the website they give an explanation of their code A January B February C March and so forth. All right, but I think they don't use letter I for some reason. They skip it. Okay, so it's got a wall in the background a brick wall and this is the new like neon sign version of Mike's Harder there's also the screwdriver which I did not buy because Albertson was charging an outrageous price for it and there's the pina colada which I did buy because they had a sale on it um those two that I've just named are in pint cans and this one is sold only in these big 23 and a half ounce cans they don't go to 24 to cut you they cut you down half an ounce just like they do with the four locos cut you down half an ounce okay this was introduced in 2024 there are some video reviews for this product and I, I was unfamiliar with all, all of the people doing those video reviews so I look like I found some new channels now whether they're worthwhile to watch I don't know So no head of foam, no lacing as you would expect with these flavor malt beverages um, because they try to construct the beer. They start with a beer base, but they try to construct the beer. I'm to see what this is on my glass. They try to construct the beer to be more like a, a vodka. And you say, well, why wouldn't they just use vodka? Good question. Um, because vodka is not allowed to be sold in these kind of concoctions in many states except in liquor stores but these things here are focused on convenience stores and grocery stores so it defeats the purpose to make it a vodka based in Canada these would be vodka based and they may be up there um, some states may have this with, and it might say vodka, uh, flavored vodka beverage, ready to drink. But anyway, I'm in Louisiana where they do the uh, both. Well, we get both. We get vodka base, bourbon based, doggone uh, cognac based products, canned at convenience stores, and these flavored malt beverages also. So there's no re restriction in Louisiana about those kind of things. You know, you never see these wine mimics. Like I know in Georgia, they make hard liquor wine mimics. It's not, it'll, it'll look like the hard liquor, but it's really a wine-based product and it'll be like less than 14%. But I mean, you could buy barrel-proof rum at a gas station in Louisiana. Okay, the aroma. So I guess these are trying to mimic uh, cocktails, like a rum punch or the famous hurricane that they sell at Pat O'Brien's in New Orleans. Um, screwdriver, of course. Pina Colada. All right. I think the only actual cocktail I've ever had in my life was um, an old-fashioned once.
at Yeo College Inn in New Orleans. There's not much aroma, actually. I keep stalling because I'm not... I'm picking up a beer, faint, you know, pale malt base. But otherwise, it doesn't have any aroma. All right, so it's orange. So I guess that's what a, rum, a hurricane punch is supposed to look like, orange. Although I think the hurricanes in New Orleans are red, but uh, I don't know what they're supposed to taste like. Taste. See, their website just said a combination of fruit, of fruit flavors. It's all it said, a combination of fruit flavors. Is it sugary sweet? Yes. But Cayman Jack and Mike's and Mike's Harder, some of the other products they own, only use real cane sugar. They do not use sugar substitute, as they will tell you on their website. They only use natural flavors, no artificial flavoring. Now, the coloring, yeah, food coloring. All right. Hmm. There's a spiciness to this. Not like heat spice, but like a... I don't know what that is in this glass. It's like a yellow stain that might have been there all along and I never noticed it. Well, it came loose. Huh. Weird. Uh, I'm very meticulous about washing my glasses. Not glassware. There's a spice. I can't pin it down. I think they might be adding cinnamon, which would be a natural flavor. Um, maybe I'm picking up orange, cherry. Orange, you know, like the maraschino cherry. Orange, cherries. Peach, I don't know, pineapple, I don't know, it's a mix, it could be all of them, um, but there's a spice, like a cinnamon, mm -hmm. and that's coming through in the aroma now, yeah, it's got to be cinnamon, okay, um, body's medium, you'd think it'd be heavy bodied at 8%, but it isn't, finish is semi-sweet, well, finish is actually mostly dry, I would say 30% sweet, 70% dry, not sweet. So did, did they do a good job with it? Yeah, but I like to try a regular Hurricane to see how it compares. I mean, I wouldn't really want to drink a Hurricane because I think they're probably using like the cheapest liquor, not that I shy away from cheap liquor as you might notice on this channel, but uh, and a bunch of sugar and syrup and stuff. I don't know, I would try it. Not one of those big to-go glasses that they sell in the French Quarter and people walk around getting loaded. I mean, maybe eight ounces I would try one. I wouldn't pay French Quarter tourism prices for it, though. You know, something that's worth 80 cents, I'm not going to pay $8. But, that being said... Oh, and they do sell Hurricane Mix at uh, the local grocery stores here. It's called um, Pat O'Brien's Hurricane Mix. I would try to look at the flavor, but they're just going to say, I know this is going to say natural flavors. They're not going to disclose what's in it, so I'll have to do some research. But anyway, that's what I'm guessing. Oranges, cherries, and maybe pineapple, and perhaps peach. Um, are they using fresh fruit to make this? I don't think so. Probably either dehydrated fruit that's pulverized. And then they filter it out or they're using like a, a flavoring extract that they bought from these flavoring companies so one more little sip I would put this in the freezer before I drink it if I were you I did that I probably should have had it in the freezer 30 minutes or longer but I didn't go that long these are best cold 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 and that's how the hurricane is served down there extremely cold or around here they sell them around here There's a little chalkiness in the mouthfeel, honestly, which they usually don't have with Mike's Harder. So I'm going to have to, that's going to bring it down to a B. I'll say 86 out of 100. It's good, but it's not very good. 
and it's defi definitely not excellent. Whereas many mics, like their blood orange, and their, I think there's a lemon lime or a lime. Oh, there's so many flavors you can't keep up. We get many of them, not all. There's strawberry. Those don't evidence that. So that's a flaw here. It's not aged because it's <laughs> probably go a year on this in a can at 8% wouldn't affect it. But um, glad I tried it. Yeah, they're expensive when you get the big cans. They're not really worth the price. You know, neither are those. If you go down there and get a hurricane and the big styrofoam to go, it's not going to be worth it. It's just going to be, you're going to be really, I don't know what you, I don't know. I don't want to get into all that. People go to New Orleans and there's so many things to see. All you want to do is go to the Bourbon Street and drink. Like, I've had people come visit, and it's like, that's all they want to do, Bourbon Street, Bourbon Street. And I'm thinking, you don't have bar rooms where you live? Well, we're from Nebraska. Well, they got bar rooms in Nebraska, Lincoln, Nebraska. I know they do, and you can drink there. You can drink at your house. So you're going to fly down here, stay at an expensive hotel, and I try to take them to cultural stuff. So like culture. Okay, so how would this pair with some saltine crackers and Limburger cheese from Wisconsin and some La Botanera so-called hot sauce from Mexico, I would call it spicy sauce, sauce, not exactly hot, but how would that pair? Well, <laughs> oh, here come the flies. Limburger cheese. Well, it might chase flies away. It might be a little too much for a fly to tolerate. <laughs> Get away. Um, I think something like maybe Spot and Optimator might pair better with this, but uh, <laughs> the tanginess does kind of cut the sweetness. Uh, eh, it's all right pairing. Like I say, Optimator or maybe a Ying or Celebrator might be a better pairing. So, les et les bon temps relay, and I'm going to end this review by saying y'all go to Waddell, Arizona and tour the Vintage American Beverage Group's Flavor Beer Brewery.